A main highway near Foxton was briefly blocked today as hundreds of gang members gathered to farewell senior Headhunters member William Bird Hines. Police kept a close eye on the Tangihanga procession and say there were no significant problems. But new Police Minister Mark Mitchell says he still hopes to make these types of gatherings illegal. Leighton Haeckel reports. This is State Highway 1 at a standstill as a slow-moving procession of about a thousand mourners closed the road just north of Foxton. They were here to lay William Bird Hines to rest at a nearby Urupa. The senior member of the Headhunters gang died last week. He was said to be both feared and revered and spent years behind bars. For too long we've seen these gangs thinking like they own the show. Um, and I've, I've been uh, very happy with the response to date in terms of the way the police are responding and managing it. The procession began in Auckland on Saturday. Lining up on their bikes, gang members made the 500 kilometre journey to Foxton, where police had a heavy presence. We are there for reassurance and to ensure that lawful, lawful behaviour and that your community activities continue as they normally would. Today, under the watchful eye of officers on the ground and in the air, police reported no significant issues and locals in Foxton said the same. It's only the outsiders that make the trouble, not necessarily the gangs. I'm not at all concerned about any problems. A few motorbikes around and all that, but nothing, nothing. No, I think they've, they've kept things under very good control. It's Mark Mitchell's first day as police minister. He says the new government still plans to ban gang patches in public places, which would make processions like this illegal. If we pass legislation and the gangs choose to ignore it and wear their patches in public, then the expectation is police will take action on it, and they will take action on it. But a Foxton resident has some advice. But I've worked with the gangs and I don't have any patches. If you leave them alone, they'll leave you alone. Though police won't be leaving this procession alone just yet, they'll be monitoring their movements as they disperse. Leighton Haeckel, New South.